It's July 2015 and the RSPCA rushes a critically wounded cat to the animal referral hospital in Sydney with an air rifle bullet wound to her back. It's come in from an ankle. The RSPCA and ARH joined forces to save the teenage cat and agreed to share costs in the hope that she could be saved and go on to live a long and happy life. In fact, Hope is what they called her. All right. Let's go for it. See you later. All right. So we'll take her to surgery now. The decision is Two made. years later, Hope, now called Mimi, <laughs> comes back to ARH to say thank you. And Casey was one of the nurses who was on that Friday night that we got her in. So, yeah, it was kind of a dramatic, dramatic well, night, we remember. She's here. And oh, she's hi, gorgeous. Um, in fact, Gillian, who adopted Mimi from the RSPCA two years ago, had never met the very people who saved her now much-loved cat. ARH surgical specialist Dr Sarah Goldsmid, helped by surgery nurse Casey Findlay, actually performed the life-saving operation, carefully removing the air rifle bullet from Mimi's spine. She goes to physio each fortnight, thank you, and she has acupuncture Oh, okay, very good. Oh, she's lucky to have you. <laughs> Mimi is one very lucky cat, given her injuries mean she can't use her rear legs at the moment, and she also needs help going to the toilet every few hours. Okay. Here you are. Here we are, beautiful. You are so lucky you've got a good mum. So how are you managing with toileting? I, um, I do her bladder okay. um, and she can defecate by herself. Okay. Um, how often do you have to do her bladder? I do her bladder three times a day, but oh, she's, got, she's got to the stage now where if you sort of stimulate her a bit around yeah. her vulva, she'll actually she urinate do it. a little done. bit yeah. herself. But she doesn't empty her bladder completely. So still making some progress already, yeah, like yeah. Two, two years yeah. or whatever it is almost. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, well. she's very happy with her. She can, yeah. um, she, she can go from his bench onto the scale to weigh herself because then she gets a liver treat. Oh, okay. So every Encouragement. she has that, she'll weigh herself. And yeah. sit there. As part of Mimi's ongoing treatment with her regular vet, she gets acupuncture and gets to use a water treadmill to help stimulate the nerves and muscles in her legs. With the pooing, does she? Um, or is that she, kind of just well, she doesn't use a litter tray. Right. Um, but if I, d- I take her into my back garden, because I have cat enclosures for my cat. I'm going to let her go And when she's, when she's in the back garden, she will actually go to the toilet and the grass. It's like she knows that this is a good place to go. Okay, I'll just let you move she's by there. yourself. She's the sweetest little cat. It's she's, now pretty clear um, that Gillian is doing an amazing like job with Mimi. Yeah. Little did she know it, though, but two years ago, Nurse Casey was also pretty keen on adopting the little cat. Yeah, Casey wanted her. Uh, wanted her. <laughs> I have some really serious scratches on my arms from when she decides that she's had enough entertainment oh. for the day. <laughs> I think, um, I mean, really, you need, you just need to have, be pain-free, functional, or at least somebody to help you be functional, eating, drinking, happy, interested in life. Really, that's, the whole thing is the quality of life, and... Yeah, she can't walk normally, but sounds like she's a great life with you. She's a really independent little cat. Yeah. It's obvious that little Mimi has a great quality of life in Gillian's hands, going about her day almost as if nothing ever happened. So, so she has to climb something. Yeah, she's determined. She climbed up and in and under the blanket. <laughs> it's been a long journey for little Mimi from that fateful day back in July 2015 until now. And while she may not recognise the people who literally saved her life, we do know that Dr Sarah and Nurse Casey will always treasure seeing her again. Well, keep up the good work. Sweetie. Good job. <laughs> oh. and thank you so much for bringing her in. It's You're so nice welcome. Well, I thought you'd like to. Absolutely. I can't believe it's been two years. Oh, we were saying it was a year. <laughs>